A new line of Amiibo has begun, and Mario's friend, Toad, gets his own Amiibo figure. Hey Nintendo fans and collectors, Lithium here from my channel Nintendo Collecting, bringing you an unboxing video and review of this Toad Amiibo figure. Now this one is the only unique new character to the line of Amiibo figures. There are a lot of other figures in this Super Mario line, however, those ones are already out in the Super Smash Bros. wave or lines of Amiibo figures. So Mario and Yoshi and Luigi and characters like that we already saw previously. Toad is the brand new character, so that's why I'm kicking off my unboxings of this new wave with Toad. This is a highly collectible figurine, however, this is much more common to find in stores because they are required to play a certain mode in Mario Party 10. So you can probably go into one of your local stores and hopefully find Toad still on the shelves. If not, you can probably find them online for like $18 or something like that. You're not going to be spending over $50 to try and get this one. Hopefully this one you can find, but a lot of people are after it because it's the only unique figure. Now this line of Amiibo figurine, you can tell they're a little bit different with the packaging. They all say Super Mario in the top left hand corner. This one says Toad of course and there's a nice picture of Toad in the background. The text on the side of this is actually vertical, it's saying Toad here. The Super Smash Brothers line actually had that kind of text going horizontally. And it's a nice packaging to this. It's still really well done, really intelligently done. It does say Nintendo Amiibo down here as well, so very similar. Choking hazard on the side still. And on the back, this time, it still says Discover the Power Inside, but it does have advertising for Mario Party 10. Play with Amiibo in Mario Party 10. It says, play it, yeah, play, party it up with Toad on a Toad-themed board. So there's 10 different characters I think you can use in the Mario Party 10. Each one lock their own board in Amiibo mode, and the boards are quite simplistic, I am told, or from what I understand. However, they do unlock something in the game, so it's almost required just to get that little bit into the game if you are interested in it. So you can collect items with these and power-ups as well. And these figures are pretty cool, different base. We're going to open this one up with my X-Acto knife, and we're going to see what this thing looks like. It also is compatible with Toad's, Captain Toad's treasure tracker, which I am going to show you or talk about throughout this video as well. But Toad's a character that needs more respect. I think he's really, really important in the Mario franchise. Of course, he's always given Mario power-ups in the past, and as he gives you power-ups, they're really required to help you beat the game, If you're, especially if you're newer to the game or newer to a lot of the series. Mario and Toad have are synonymous with the games. I absolutely love Toad. He's a really cute character. Toad and Toadette I've used previously as well. So let's just open this up, slide that figure out. Let's take a look at Toad. So here he is. He's not that huge, but there is some good detail work on them because he is quite a plain figure, I would say. His hat isn't really a hat, from what I can understand from Nintendo. It might actually just be his head. I'm not really certain or sure, but that looks pretty awesome. It's very well done. I like the expression on his face. It's the classic Toad kind of expression. His mouth is open, but it does look like he almost has some teeth back there or something. But that is a little indentation into his mouth, so the detail is there. It's pretty well done. You do have these two little cute eyes. I like his pose of his hand kind of reaching up to help someone out. His pants or his shorts, they're kind of both because he is a shorter character. There is some detail work right here. He does have that blue and yellow cape on, or I guess it's called a vest. And his shoes are brown. So it's pretty simplistic. There's not really much to Toad. The base of these figures are all actually this checkerboard pattern, which kind of reminds me of sprites or pixels, which is probably a pretty good choice. Something different than the Super Smash Brothers line. And the bottom of these are red, so it does say Amiibo, and it does say Nintendo on it with some other little information on it, and it does say that this was made in China. And the way that you can tell these figures, once they're unboxed, what line they're from. If they have a red base, they're from the Super Mario line. If they have a black base, they're from the Super Smash Brothers line. So that's just one way to tell really quickly. The base is everything. Same with Skylanders, the base is everything. So this figure, in terms of height, let's just take a look. In inches first, he is just short of 3 inches, so maybe 2.75 inches. And then in millimeters, this figure is about 70 millimeters or 7 centimeters tall. Now this figure is also supported in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, not Captain Toad's, but Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, and the way you use this figure is you scan it in on the gamepad before you enter a level that you have already beaten before. Now when you're in the level, Toad actually unlocks and he's a little sprite image somewhere within the level and you're basically playing a hide and go seek game to try and find that little sprite of Toad and try and click on it and then after you click on it you will actually beat the level and then try and do that with every single level to get another stamp or another 
check mark basically within the game. So it's highly addictive to try and get all of those. It is a really cool way to go back and play Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. So I think the Toad Amiibo is actually really worthwhile getting. If you get any from the Super Mario line, you might want to get this one because number one, it's useful in, of course, Mario Party 10, but it's also useful in Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, which is a fantastic game that will make you replay all the levels probably, except for the bonus stages. I don't think Toad's unlocked in the bonus stages. And number three, he is the only exclusive character to this line because all the other ones are a little bit different than their counterparts in the Super Smash Bros. wave, but this one's actually unique. So I think this is a pretty good figure. He is very simplistic, and he is unique at least, so it's pretty cool to see him. But I think this is pretty basic. I would probably give this for Toad. I'm not sure why I would lose marks. It's just very simplistic, so maybe a 9 out of 10. But if you're a fan of Toad, I think you would definitely want to pick this one up. And if you're a fan of Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker, and you're looking for something more to do in the game, you can definitely pick up this figure. Have a lot of fun with it. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below. What do you think about the Toad Amiibo, and what do you think of this new wave of Super Mario Amiibo figures? Feel free to fill that like bucket, follow me on all the social media links in the description below the video, and remember, as always, go collect them all, and keep smiling while gaming.